How do I look? How do I look? Man, I just woke up. I don't know. I've been in Denver. I ate at the was at the pilot last night, and I ate at the um, at the Wendy's in there. That was that was probably a bad idea. Uh, my stomach's just been kind of growling all day. Um. Anyways, I'm here in Denver, and decided now he's probably trying to get me. All right. Um. Yeah. Here in Denver. I dropped a load this morning, and uh, and I guess there hasn't been anything that I guess I'm, I'm starting to work my way back east to go home. Got an issue with my phone. I'll get into that later. Anyways, I finally uh, I laid down. I was talking to the wife, and the next thing I know, the phone was was off. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm like, oh geez, I guess I'll take my Bluetooth off. And I just fell back asleep. Next thing I know, I wake up, and it's uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, whichever. It's uh, 8 o'clock here, I guess, and. Uh, Lo and behold, holy jeez, I got a text message saying Big Cat's looking for me. He's out here, so uh, I'm going to go and uh, hunt down some Big Cats here in Denver. Alright, now apparently he's back here. You really can't miss Big Cat. He's freaking, he's he's big. I got my toothbrush and everything. Holy jeez, I feel like I've been sucking on the exhaust pipe. I feel horrible because I wanted to go to the pilot earlier and freaking take a shower and I found out they took away all my shower points. Or did I get to it later today? Freaking here I am. Sweat my nuts off. Stink. <laughs> Let's see if we can find him. I think I found his truck. Is that him? Oh well, he said he's down here somewhere. It looks like his truck. Said by Blue Beacon, look at that. Things you find at a PA. I think I found him. Getting all sneaky sneaky on him. I'm down yonder. Oh, okay. Not that far, actually. You're on this road. Yeah. All right, I'm okay. back. No, I actually can't guess I'm not back. I'm just redoing what I already did earlier because I can't remember where I left off. Yesterday, no, 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 let me back up even more. Um, so I met up with Big Cat Trucker. Uh, he came into the truck, played around with my uh, my new radio, which actually nobody's seen yet. Well, let's, uh, there we go. It's a Galaxy. We've got this old, big old mic, and, uh, yeah. So, anyways, that's, uh, that's that. Um, get the camera all set up again. Um, yeah, he came into my truck, and after a little while of talking, we realized it got dark out, and, uh, couldn't do any videos we were planning on it. We figured we'd hit each other up in the morning and, and, uh, do a video. He was sitting there for two days, day and a half or whatever at that point. Um, and I was just sitting there over, over, overnight, basically. Next morning, I text him, and uh, well, it took a twelve-dollar shower because pilot, pilot sucks, and uh, you don't actually get to keep your shower points as long as you used to. I don't know the whole story on that, but anyways, it took a twelve-dollar shower at uh, at the pilot, and expected a good raping in the in the. Uh, filthy, 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 disgusting Andrew. Picture. Andrew. I'm gonna have to get back to him on that. Playing on the uh, high tail, nice little lap. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I took the shower. Expected a good rape, but didn't. I just got taken. Got back to my truck. Uh, texted uh, Big Cat. 
he finished the regen on his truck and then uh, came and parked beside mine. We're sitting there for a couple of minutes trying to figure out his uh, his radio. It really wasn't working all that well. I don't think we actually came up with a, a good reason why it wasn't. I'm not too sure, but um, ended up he got he got a Qualcomm message and I was like, "Yeah, oh, gee, freaking, that's not fair." And like as soon as he was answering his, I got one over mine, and it's like, "Ha, sucker!" So I looked. I had to go and pick up a preload. Just on the other side of Denver. He had to go somewhere else, I think, east or something like that, pick up some sugar. But um, pick up a preload and uh, take it up to Cheyenne. It was going to Washington. Um, I'm going to repower it and uh, take a load from that driver over. Load was going to uh, Buffalo, New York. Um, got up here, switch trailers. I did my, you know, my usual inspection of the trailer and everything, including my fifth wheel and everything. Um, I know that I didn't high pin it because when I went underneath, he had left it just low enough um, that when I went underneath, he could feel that it lifted up on the uh, on the trailer. The heck is that? So, anyways, um, went inside, came back out. Everything was hunky dory. Put it in gear, started rolling forward. Started turning out of the spot, and all of a sudden, BOOM! Next thing I know, trailer's on the ground, and I got airlines flying all over the place. Um, the trailer ended up there's 33,000 pounds on the drive. Uh, kind of did a little bit of a nosedive. The uh, landing gear was on kind of that much of an angle. Um, fuel tank was about that far off the ground. Um, thankfully that didn't get damaged at all, didn't touch the ground at all. Um, but it was too low to do the whole, let's see if I can do this without anybody noticing and drop the air and get underneath, lift it, lift the legs and kind of walk back underneath the trail. That wasn't going to happen. Not that we didn't try. Um, <laughs> so I got in touch with, uh, with my DM and with breakdown and everything and uh, eventually they got a wrecker out here. Wrecker took a look at it. He tried lifting it up and was going to move it, um, but as soon as he got underneath it, his truck started doing one of these, so his steers were not touching the ground. There was no way he was going to be able to move it. So we were looking. To, in the meantime, waiting for him, there was me, three other drivers. We were all looking, and I was looking at my fifth wheel thinking, that does not look right. And... Uh, once uh, once the record got here, he, he was saying initially that I had high, high pinned it. I'm like, no, I'm not stupid. There was no daylight between the plate and the fifth wheel. So anyways, he, uh, he says, well, what we're going to have to do is try to put it down on the legs. So he had to winch him a little bit more straight. And uh, he set it down gently on the legs. Uh, we were able to extend him. It didn't destroy the gears at least. At least not enough. Um, I carefully slid underneath and the jaws locked again. But on further inspection, there's on, on these fontaines, there's a little pin on the, uh, on the passenger side. Normally, it's right up against the plate and you can't move it. This one's out about that far and you can sit there and poke it with your finger, moving it around in a circle, poke it in and out. So the locking mechanism is at the least slightly damaged um, something is missing from it so yes everything was fine and everything was hunky-dory until then I'm glad it happened when it did because it would have sucked going down the interstate it happened just here in the pilot parking lot and just you know what five mile an hour so hey, we got that all positioned I back into the spot again and uh, trying to figure out what was going to go on. The driver was here with an empty. Uh, he circled around, but uh, we ended up having to wait until the morning to uh, transload it uh, into the other trailer, uh, which we just got finished doing. That's why, that's why I said, well, okay, now I'm back or whatever I did at the beginning of this because I was recording this and then the guy came to, uh, to do the move. So uh, all the product moved over fine and uh, and now I'm just sitting here waiting to figure out what's going on. The uh, the guy from the record company has left. 
I really don't want to pull a trailer until I know for a fact that that fifth wheel is not going to come apart again. Um, I don't need it. I mean, I get it, it's an empty trailer, but for one, the landing gear probably wouldn't take that impact, let alone anything. Um, and I just and and my I, something's wrong with the electrical. I think I don't know if it ripped the cord. Um, from what I can see, like where it plugs into the trailer, that part is like where the green housing is. It's about that far away from the, the end of the plug. So I don't know if some wires got torn or if it's because now when you plug it in, you can move it all about. Um, and uh, it's, it's just, special. I just blocked them. I am a ghost to him on Facebook. <laughs> Andrew is in so much trouble with somebody on Facebook. I won't go into it because I'm trying to be that person's friend now. Um, just to get Andrew. But anyways, yeah, so I'm just sitting here waiting to figure out what's going to go on next. And hopefully I know soon because I'm getting tired of sitting. I've been doing too much of that lately. Especially considering over the last, what, three days I've only gotten 100 miles. That's from Denver to here, so. I guess we'll find out soon enough.